Assalamu alaikum. alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Bismillah, wa salatu wa salam wa rasulullah wa ba'd. Family, as I was watching the news today, I came across this particular place. Let me just show you what it says. Israeli forces have killed at least 11 people, including five children, in strikes on the southern city of Rafah. Israel's repeatedly attacked the city ahead of an expected ground invasion. There are new reports the Biden administration has approved Israel's plan to attack Rafah in exchange for Israel not launching counter strikes on Iran. Well, that sure as heck didn't age well now, did it? It did not age well. This is what's going on right now. Let me show you. All right, guys, we have major, major breaking news that just came out here. Now, I'm coming to you, like, within two minutes of seeing this. So the details right now are few and far between, but I'll tell you uh, what's floating out there in the ether. It is confirmed that Iran has directly, or excuse me, Israel has directly attacked Iran. Um, now, leading up to this, we all know the chain of events. You had Israel attack the Iranian consulate in Syria. They were trying to kill the person who was General Soleimani's replacement. Um, they succeeded in doing that. Now, understand that alone is a direct act of war. If you're bombing an Iranian consulate, that's the same as bombing Iranian soil. Um, so in response to that, Iran launched an attack on Israel, but basically the point of the attack was more to serve as a warning because they gave everybody a lot of time to react. They, it was like two or three hours in advance they said they were going to do it. They purposely only picked military targets. The reporting is that the overwhelming majority of the missiles and the drones that they sent were shot out of the air because there was ample warning. So it was basically like, look, you attacked us, we have to save face here and respond. But it wasn't an actual attempt to do massive damage. So in response to that, the basic, basically like virtue signaling fake attack, uh, Israel, of course, decided to unleash holy hell. So um, what we have right now is that not only are there attacks in central Iran, there's also uh, potential attacks in Syria and Iraq as well. Uh, the particular place, this is what the rumor is at the moment, this is not confirmed yet, but um, that the attack in Iraq involved a, a high-level meeting that included a lot of like Iranian Shia proxies, including some members of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, which is basically like some of the highest ranking officials of Iran in that meeting who were just targeted. So uh, Iran cleared their airspace when this attack happened. Again, this is all ongoing right now. Um, again, reports that the capital of Iraq, Baghdad, uh, was hit. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps came out and said, uh, verified that there was an attack on Isfahan. Now this place, this is what I predicted would happen, guys. This place is where they have one of their main nuclear facilities. And I told you that I thought Israel was going to retaliate. They did. Um, and they targeted their main nuclear facility. Now, there's reports of uh, strikes elsewhere as well in Iran. So it could be multiple nuclear facilities. So... Everybody needs to understand we are in a treacherously dangerous moment right now. Now, for me, it's a real late night. I'm just putting this out because this is a breaking story and it's a very, very important story. But there's a couple of takeaways from this. Now, first of all, once again, once again, we are right, as usual, when it comes to these treacherous white supremacists. Okay, They're willing to sign off on a genocide 
as long as the genociders that they love, who is their personal colonial, you know, project and they're in Israel, do not retaliate against Iran. Because why? Is it has anything to do with human life or genocide or morality? No, these are not no moral people. These, these are demons. They're straight up demons. They're devils. Okay. Why? Because they can't afford to, you know, have all the petrol prices jumping through the roof from a regional Middle Eastern war. They can't afford that. Not to mention that this will essentially bar travel to Saudi Arabia, who is now heavily invested in the politics of the United States and uh, several Western countries, but definitely the United States, which is why they're ver pushing very, very hard to make business alliances with Jared Kushner. And anyways, this, this is all a whole bunch of geopolitical mess going on all at the same time. But for sure, this is a major, major, major escalation in what's going on. I highly doubt that Iran will retaliate with this the type of soft retaliation, sending paper airplanes over the skies of Israel and calling it an airstrike. I think there's gonna there's gonna be some major stuff popping off. It will also uh, cause the people in the region to be thoroughly united. Uh, for Palestine, which will put pressure on the Middle Eastern leaders, right? I mean, this I, I personally think this is going to blow up. It's going to be something very major, which is why I wanted to cover this before I went to sleep. So let me let, let me know let me know what y'all think. Like, subscribe, share, hit me up on Patreon. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it. You'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you, we're using rocks for currencies, chump. <laughs>